Hi, and welcome to the heart of the home. I'm Chef John Maxwell, and we're here in Doswell, Virginia, at Meadow Hall in the Meadow Event Park, where every week we get a chance to play with some great Virginia food. Today, we're going to play with one of my favorite foods. We're going to, we're going to talk a little bit about grits. Right? So grits are little more than corn that's been ground, dried and ground. So we're going to start by heating up this pan, putting a little oil in it. Let that get just a little bit hot. And we're going to add some garlic. Right. And some onions. Now as that starts to sizzle, soften up. All we're going to try and do is soften up the onions now. We don't want to get any color. And I'm going to add a little bit of stock. Now you can use any stock you want to make grits. Right? Uh, if you want to make this a vegetarian or vegan product, you can add vegetable stock. If you want uh, a little bit more robust of a flavor, you can use chicken stock or some other stock. Okay, now we're going to wait till that comes to a boil. All right, now the, the stock with the onions and the garlic is starting to boil nicely. It's about ready for the grits to go in. So I'm going to stream them in slowly, stirring them in so they don't clump or lump. And we need about a cup of grits for every four cups of stock. And it's going to take about 20 minutes for the grits to soften enough for us to do the next step. So while the grits are cooking, I want to talk to you a little bit about the kinds of grinds of corn, because grits are ground corn. This is steel-cut yellow cornmeal. This is steel-cut white cornmeal. This is stone-ground white cornmeal. This is quick grits, instant grits. This is stone-ground white corn grits. This is stone-ground yellow corn grits. And this is polenta. If you can't tell the difference between yellow corn grits and polenta, it's because there isn't any difference. Okay, while those grits are cooking, and softening up nicely, I'm going to get the garnish together. All right, I'm going to start with a little oil. And what I've got here are collards. You can see some collards here, big leaf collards that are going to go in. I'm going to start with some garlic. I want the garlic to just soften up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some onion. Stir that around. Again, all we're looking for it to do is soften up just a little bit. This is going to go into the grits. I'm going to add some good sausage. You can use pretty much any kind of sausage that you want. Uh, I'm using a sausage that's made in Virginia, uh, but some kielbasa would be good. Uh, what I don't like using in this particular recipe are the crumbly kind of sausages, the ones that break up a lot. I like the more solid sausages. And now I'm going to add some collard greens that I cut up into a chiffonade, a thin strip. You let that steam just a little bit. This is coming along nicely. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back the grits that have been cooking, right? And I'm going to combine the greens, the sausage, and the grits together. I'll set this here. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got the grits back. I'm going to go ahead and add some cream to the grits. And get that nice and light. Now I'm going to add the collards and the onions and the sausage. Stir that around good. You may have to adjust the cream to make it more soup than sauce. And we'll see what's happening as it heats. Now we're going to add some whole kernel corn that's already been cooked. You could use frozen corn in this if you want it. And the grits are thickening this up nicely. All right, this is just about there. It's got a good consistency. All the product is cooked. Add just a little bit more. Uh, you can add more or less of the stock to this to make it thicker or thinner. Um, I like it a relatively thin soup, but this would also be a good hearty lunch if you wanted to let it cook to a porridge consistency. All right, so let's, let's see what we've got here. And there we have corn and collards grits soup with sausage. So join us next week on Heart of the Home, where we get to play with great Virginia food. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at VAFB.com, as well as on Chef Maxwell's website at ChefJohnMaxwell.com.